some of you are looking at trying to build your own home practice. So I wanted to give you a video that just takes you through basically the warm up portion of any yoga class. You can use this before any workout, before you go run, before you lift, before anything. And frankly, it can stand on its own as a full body workout anytime you just need a little something to kind of kick things up a little bit. And you can use it both to get in some uh, brief breath work, some meditation and focus, as well as some physical activity. So all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take you through three to five rounds of a sun A and a sun B. So to begin, why don't we get started in child pose. So for child pose, you're gonna take your toes together, your knees wide, let your forehead come to rest on the mat and take your arms long in front of you. You can start to build Ujjayi breath, so you're just gonna seal your lips and begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Being very intentional about your breath here in your child's pose. And when you feel ready, you're going to curl your toes under, press back downward facing dog, allowing there to be a soft bend in your knee. In your first round of down dog, if you want to pedal out your feet, really dropping into one leg and then the other, feel free to do so. You can also start to get into your hips a little bit more by coming up on your toes, turning both heels to one side and bend your knees deep. A little side stretch through the body and then taking that to the other side. And come back through center tiptoe to the top of your mat. Take a little moment here when we call ragdoll, which is feet hip distance apart, soft knees, grab opposite elbows, let your upper body hang heavy for a moment, shake out whatever you need to shake out. And now we'll start the flow. Release your bind, walk your feet into touch. And on an inhale, sweep your arms up to the ceiling, maybe a little bit of a back bend if that feels good to you. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step it back to high plank. We'll do three different rounds here. You're going to drop your knees for the first round, hugging in through your lower core. Lower halfway down. Shifting forward, upward facing dog. Up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Little breath out. Top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Step back to high plank. This time, knees up or lay knees down as you need. Lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Upward facing up. Downward facing up. Top of your mat, step or float. Halfway lift, forward fold. Mountain stand all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or float back to Chaturanga. Upward facing up. Downward facing up. Top of your mat. Half lift, fold, mountain, forward fold, halfway lift, shot around the flow, upwards to downwards. One more round, top of your mat. Half lift, fold, mountain, forward fold. Now maybe you're getting tired of push-ups, halfway lift. You can just step back down, we're facing dog, totally okay. Breath or two, take any movement you need. At any point when you need to reset, you'll just drop to your knees, come back to that child pose, give yourself a little rest. As you're ready to move on, we're gonna start to build into a sun B. Top of your mat. Half lift, forward fold. Thunderbolt, sit nice and deep. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Shot around the flow. Back to down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. We inhale to the top of our pose. Exhale is going to bring a skandasana, bending deep into the left leg. Hands down or hands at heart center, whichever you prefer. Top of your mat for a twist. Left hand down, the right hand up. Chaturanga flow or down dog. Left side, left foot forward. Inhale up. And exhale takes you to the back of your mat. Inhale, takes you back to the top of your mat for your twist. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga or down dog. Upwards to down. Top of your mat. Half lift, fold, thunderbolts. You can add on a little bit here, open twist, right arm back. Come back through center. Other side, left arm back. 
through center. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing. Right leg forward, warrior one. Skin fasten. Open twist. Top of your mat. Chaturanga. Upwards. Downwards. Left foot forward, warrior one. Skin fasten at the back of your mat. Top of your mat for twist. Chaturanga. Upwards. To downwards. Top of your mat. One more round. Half lift. Forward fold. Thunderbolts. This time, hands to heart center and twist. Inhale comes through center. Exhale, take it to the other side. Inhale back through center. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chatter on the flow of your choice. Right side, warrior one. So I'm going to cactus my arms out a little back bend. Re extend. Drop into Skandasana. Top of your mat, twist. Chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing, left leg forward, warrior one. Adding the back bend of the cactus arms. Inhale, extend, exhale, back of your mat, skandasana. Top of your mat for a twist. Chaturanga, upwards to downwards. At that point, you're welcome to take a couple more rounds of that if you'd like. But practicing and talking is a little challenging, so that's all you're going to get out of me today. And when you're complete with all of that, give yourself a moment or two to pause in child pose, either adding on more yoga poses if you would like those, or going ahead and letting it go and shifting into something else. Whatever you need to do. As you can tell, my heart rate is up. So if you do this practice, moving one pose per breath, so an inhale or an exhale, you will get your heart rate up. And our bodies don't care if we get our heart rates up by running, by jumping, by lifting things, or by flowing. It doesn't make a difference to our bodies. Either way, you're getting your heart rate up, which is good for you. You're getting some muscular engagement, and you're opening some things up in your body. So you're not necessarily finding flexibility, but you are finding mobility, which is the ability of your joints to move freely and easily within their sockets and in the full range of their motion. So you are building that as you go through this. So like I said, that can be a freestanding thing all by itself. You can take more flows, you can take less flows, and you always have the option to skip the chaturangas if you're doing a lot of things in your life that are engaging your shoulders, or if your wrists aren't up for it, or for any other reason, you just don't feel like it today, it's okay. You'll still get something out of all of the other poses and postures. Thank you so much.